Yablanitsa. Yablanitsa. Yes, and uh, pretty soon you are going to see something very interesting here. And this is right after we leave this small town, we are going to make our stop, restroom stop. So from here we have uh, half an hour for 40 minutes to get to Mostar, depending on traffic. Uh, and we are going to make a stop here. Uh, this place actually played a very important role in one of the battles in the Second World War. It was called the Battle for Wounded. What happened here in these mountains, you had a lot of partisans, and you had a mobile partisan hospital. And the Germans, uh, who were here at, at the left bank of the river and were controlling this area, were actually allies with the Serbian Chetniks, who went all the way into eastern Bosnia and uh, did also ethnic cleansing of Muslims in eastern Bosnia. But of course, their main goal was to get hold of uh, uh, partisans and this mobile uh, hospital for partisans that was here. So uh, very soon they were able to find them here in this uh, village. And one of the villages uh, in the mountains, and they had to partisans had to move towards the river, but uh, the other bank of the river was heavily guarded by uh, Chetniks. So the story goes that uh, they had one of the original engineers that project uh, that was uh, uh, in charge of building uh, the bridge, market, the bridge that market. we they, the only bridge that they could cross and go to the east. Uh, so, uh, th there was no way to get to that bridge, really. Uh, I mean, you won't be able, unfortunately, I think, to see it very well from here. But you see the, the uh, on your uh, left-hand side, you see the train and you see yes. the ruins of a bridge over there. So, uh, over there, uh, they were able to, well, they mined the bridge. Partisans were able to do the diversion and mine the bridge, uh, but uh, not to completely destroy it. Just from the air to the Germans, it looked like the bridge was destroyed. But however, they were able to repair it provisionally just to get the wounded on the other side of the river. And of course, uh, Chetniks did try to uh, attack them. They, they pretty soon realized what was going on, and it, but it was too late because from the air, and Germans, of course, here had, were the only ones who had uh, airplanes were bombing it, and they, of course, destroyed it, uh, destroyed the bridge completely. However, they uh, were successful in getting the wounded on the other side of the river and uh, defeating Chetnik forces because they could not face Germans. Of course, Germans were too strong, but with the, with Chetniks they had a fighting chance and they took it. So, uh, to, to, to. okay. So this is the place where we are going to make our restroom stop. So. Star past Konya. The river Net, no, Neretva. Neretva, yes. Neretva, right? Yes. Neretva on our right. Well, the middle of the same country, you know, 
difference in country. I, I try, I try to add uh, something new if I, you know, you know, a different part. Uh, like the both Cope Reach is the festival. That's the, the, a lot of the same places you go to because that's. Some of our travelers didn't make out too well. <laughs> I guess some of our travelers didn't make out too well. Why? Oh, Easter, my cousin of mine lives in Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, Paramus? It's right next to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Further along the, the Nuretba River. Sitting next to Jerry Schiffer, the well-known archaeologist and geologist, Mr. Schiffer, do you have anything to say about this, this region? This is just incredible. It's, it's heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Look like at this view. Look at this. With the clouds. This is paradise. There's not a soul here. It's like, there's enough going on. I don't even... Not a house in sight. The whole thing. I know the interesting thing. This is not the way it would be in America. This is a heaven and not a house in sight. Yeah, there's a lot. They can be, because of the community. That's it, exactly. There's a lot of research as you know. is already done. For example, especially in Herzegovina and in, on the Adriatic coast, uh, you have to do it uh, kind of uh, on, earlier. To Mostar from Sarajevo. And now you, you even saw that, uh, for example, in Slavonia, uh, it's already done. I mean, I mean, in most of the places, but in Adriatic places that are closer to Adriatic uh, coast, grape harvest is 
uh, long gone. It usually takes place in uh, September, early September. Is that also when they're making uh, distilling brandy? Okay, so uh, distilling uh, brandy or rakia, as we say, say it here, well, uh, it can uh, pretty much also is a thing you do in September, maybe in your early October, it again depends uh, on the, what kind of climate you're really in. But over here, you know, as you see, this is mountains, so in this area nobody really grows grapes. When we come to Mostar and to that area, you will see grapes here. If they have grapes it's, uh, that, that you eat. Uh, but Rakia, yes. <laughs> <coughs> Good shape. 